update two on Tropical Storm 9W, which is located just east of Guam in the Mariana Islands, as a 40 mile per hour tropical storm with a pressure of 996 millibars. Its position is now 13 degrees north, 146.1 degrees east, as of 2 pm UTC on July the 11th. It hasn't intensified in the past 12 hours, but, but intensification is still on the cards and it could become quite a significant typhoon as it heads towards the Philippines and then onto Taiwan or China in, in the beyond five days uh, from now. Uh, it's still somewhat unclear as to where exactly the track's going to take the storm or indeed what its intensity is going to be, but at the moment, uh, things seem to be suggesting that we'll be seeing a typhoon in the next few days. Though the way it's going, it may not get there for some time yet because it's being slow to develop. So we'll see how that goes in the next few days or so. Um, so let's take a look at the warnings right now. Tropical Storm Watch is in effect for Tinian and Saipan uh, further north uh, and Tropical Storm Warnings in effect for Guam and the island of Rota to, to its north. Uh, so we could be seeing some Tropical Storm conditions for those two islands in the next 24 hours. That's winds of 39 miles per hour and higher and um, of course heavy rainfall as well may also result. We'll check the radar very shortly. Um, as a matter of fact, that's coming up right now. So on here you can see out of Guam the storm moving in from the east. Um, definitely notable here. Uh, the red areas on the western side of the storm center approaching those islands right now as well. So um, heavy rainfall is going to be um, coming ashore in the next few hours if it hasn't started to do so already. Here's the visible imagery over the past day. You can see the storm moving towards those islands. Um, of course, it's nightfall over there now, so there is no visible imagery. Uh, sea surface temperatures um, fairly variable, but generally around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. You, you can still see that big gap there where it's 28 or so and lower, uh, which is where Neo Guri was a few days ago. Uh, but still very warm waters on the anticipated path of the storm. In terms of wind shear, that remains fairly variable as well, but getting towards the low side, only high shear amounts are around the Philippine area so for the next few days it shouldn't be too bad for the storm though it is increasing slightly to the west of Guam. Uh, this is the um, water vapor imagery as well you can see the storm towards the center of the image there um, and it's a fairly moist environment that it's in so that shouldn't be too much of an issue either with dry air intrusion or anything to that regard um, and that is likely to remain the case for some time. The CMC computer model isn't too keen on storm development actually, uh, moves towards the northwest uh, and not really developing very much, though it is, there are two storms behind that as well by the looks of things according to the CMC model that form out in the open Pacific. The GFS is much more keen on development for this particular storm, um, moving it towards the Philippines and then brushing the northeastern coast of Luzon and then uh, a landfall in Taiwan as what appears to be a severe or significant or severe typhoon um, and then moving on to China. So here's the latest satellite imagery. You can see um, how the storm's been moving over those islands right now. Um, mainly towards the north is where we're seeing most of the action in relation to the storm, most of the rainfall and thunderstorm activity. You see that big burst in the past few uh, hours. To the south of the centre, not too much going on at the moment. Um, so it's a fairly imbalanced, let's say, um, where all the rainfall and thunderstorm activities towards the north and not too much going on towards the south right now. So um, it will have to sort that a bit if it's going to intensify very much um, but certainly for those islands right now the Mariana Islands um, is going to have a bit of a wet affair in the next few hours and we may be seeing some gusts over 50 miles per hour so as of July the 11th at 2 p.m. UTC worldwide there's nothing going on in the Western Hemisphere it's all in the east at the moment um, and to be quite honest there's not too much going on either over here because uh, nothing going on in the Indian Ocean in the Western Pacific Neo Guri is very nearly no more it isn't tropical anymore and of course tropical storm 9w and that is the 37th storm to form worldwide in 2014 14 of those have become uh, Category 1 hurricane equivalent storms with winds of 74 miles per hour and above, and 8 of those have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour and higher. Uh, this could be the 15th and the 9th respectively, but we'll wait and see on that one. Um, and of course there may be some storms coming up behind that as well to boost up the numbers too. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, will keep you most up to date with all that's going on around the world. 
Uh, of course, the video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion. Just search Force 13 on those to find the latest videos. And of course, the archived gallery, uh, which has not only storm updates, but past seasons and other animations too. And of course, the uh, social pages, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 on those, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter. And if you wish to converse with me personally on Skype, you can do so. Just add Fool 13 for tropical weather discussion. The next update on this storm will follow either at 2am UTC on Saturday, July the 12th if necessary. If not, it'll be in 24 hours time on July the 12th at 2pm UTC.